As a study is raising questions about just how effective the one dose Johnson and Johnson vaccine is against the Delta variant. Let's get to ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens, who's been following the vaccine rollout in depth. Jared, this study may concern some, but there are also a few things experts want us all to keep in mind. That's right, Virginia, Jim. Most importantly, they say that any of the vaccines that are currently approved, whether it's Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, or Pfizer, are all the best way to prevent severe COVID outcomes like hospitalizations and deaths. But still, some people we spoke to who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine now tell us they wish they'd gotten one of the other ones. I used to do cycling, yoga, Pilates, hiking, walking, and now I cannot do any of that. Now, this woman asked us not to identify her, but told ABC 10 News that she had severe side effects after she got the Johnson & Johnson shot. Now, there's word that a new study shows the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is seven times weaker against the Delta variant than the original COVID strain when you compare it to the Pfizer or Moderna shots. The paper's authors say this shows that people who got Johnson & Johnson may need a booster shot, but doctors in San Diego say the vaccine is still effective. That it may lose a little more of its protection against just cases per se, but it'll still stay really highly protective against bad COVID. The studies done here in San Diego found that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is just as effective as other uh, against the uh, against COVID variants as some of the other vaccines, especially as time goes on. So they say this may just prove that the vaccine needs more time to become fully effective. In the meantime, they say take whichever vaccine you can get, because right now they're finding that 99% of hospitalizations and deaths from the Delta variant are from people who aren't vaccinated. Live downtown, Jared Aaron's ABC 10 News.